If you ever searched for a PS emulator and ended up with sketchy or outdated results, this video is for you. Today, we're looking at 4 emulators that actually work, still active in 2025. RPCS3, the backbone of PS3 emulation. Why is this the topic? Because it's mature, open source project, continuously updated, and delivers a stable, high-quality result across a huge library of games. Its biggest advantage, full support for both Vulkan and OpenGL, which means solid performance on a wide range of hardware. Quick setup. Download and install the program. Go to file and load the official PS3 update file to set up the firmware. You can then install games via package files or mount ISO images. Recommended setting for best performance. Set render to Vulkan. Start resolution scale at 100% and gradually increase if your system allows. Under CPU, set PPU decoder to LLVM and SPU decoder to LLVM as well. The first compile will take longer, but after that it runs smoothly. Under GPU, enable shader building to reduce stutter when moving the camera. If you are dealing with frame drops, disable Vsync but keep the game's internal frame cap. For lighter titles or games that don't heavily rely on SPUs, even mid-range PCs can deliver decent experience. The real power here, a massive community with ready-made fixes for almost every game. PS Emu 3, ultra lightweight and straightforward. If you want something extremely compact, PS Emu 3 is tiny in size and requires virtually no complex setup. The design is simple, run the program, drag and drop game file and you're good to go. ESX PS3 emulator takes a different approach, focusing specifically on running some exclusive PS3 titles. Its goal to deliver near-native graphics with minimal setup. Practical note, for best results, use at least a 2.5 GHz CPUs and 1 GB RAM or more. If you run into problems with certain games, drop the graphics settings and test in a lower compatibility mode. Always download ESX from its official source, Shad PS4, looking ahead to PS4 in 2025. This one's technically is PS4 emulator, but it's open source, free and still very much alive in 2025. It's improving rapidly and it's worth mentioning because people are always curious about the state of next-gen console emulation. Some lighter titles already run and development is moving forward fast. Keep in mind, it requires a stronger hardware than PS3 emulator. Don't expect miracles on a mid-range system. For testing, stick to lighter games and keep rendering system on default. The point here isn't to replace RPCS3, but to give you a glimpse of where PS4 emulation is headed. So, want the highest compatibility and near console experience? Stick with RPCS3, got the lowest big PC and just want something quick and easy. Try PS Emo 3. Curious about the specific exclusives? Give ESX a shot. Want to see the future of emulation? Shad PS4 gives you a clear picture, though it needs a stronger hardware. Legal notes. Always extract firmware and game files from your own legally owned console. This video is for educational purpose only. I want to hear from you. Which emulator worked for you? What game did you manage to run? And with what settings? Drop your results in the comments, they'll help everyone else in the community. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't miss the next videos.